All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, all you sorcerers out there, to another DSA Disney Sorcerers Arena video. My name is Itachi, and this is Itachi Gaming. And today we're doing a pick six, uh, top six free to play characters in the game. And I'm joined today by Smart Dog Nut. How you doing, man? Thanks for uh, reaching out to me, man. Greatly appreciate it. So, uh, Smart Dog Nut does have his own YouTube channel. He does DSA content, tips, tricks, and guides over there as well. So, make sure you guys check that out. Um, this is a two-part special. Uh, we did six on my channel and six on his channel uh, for a total of 12 characters all in all. So, we're going to get right into it right now. Uh, the way this is going to work is uh, Smart Dog Nut's going to talk about one, and then I'll talk about another one. Uh, so, we'll be going back and forth like that. So, uh, Smart Dog, you want to talk about your first pick? Okay, so my first pick is Big Bad Wolf. Big Bad Wolf is a downtown villain, and you'll so you're going to go and use him for Zerg. He's fantastic. He does some incredible damage. There is just one problem with him is that he is too slow. But other than that, he does some fantastic stuff against the heroes. He has his bonus damage against the hero characters. He can push taunt with the most recent update, update 13, and his first special, and he, on his next special he can heal as well as use some fantastic damage to single target opponent, and he has an AoE, and he's just a fantastic character. Yeah, he is a really fantastic character, I know he helped me out a lot in uh, the early stages of Sorcerer's Tournament, or the, yeah, Sorcerer's Tournament, um, I used them, and obviously to get Zerg, so great character, big damage, uh, Big Bad Wolf is a awesome guy there. Yeah, I still use him quite a bit. He's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, my first one is actually going to be Cobra Bubbles. Um, and Cobra Bubbles is oceanic. He's going to be needed for quite a bit. Stitch, to be able to get Stitch in the Stitch Towers. Um, he is an absolute requirement. And then you can use him over to get Moana and Maui as well, which are special events. Um, event there so with cobra bubbles this guy is fantastic i'm using him uh with my current team over in sorcerer's tournament um he does a lot of damage has a lot of tactics interaction able to pass tactics to different characters on your team um he's able to silence cleanse uh he has a cleanse for the team on stare down uh which or not stare down sorry uh call me next time uh which removes any debuffs and puts tactics on that character uh, and then stare down is able to actually apply silence and intimidate and intimidate is great It prevents your opponents from gaining any type of speed meter. Uh, they can't counter so great to use up against Anna um, and then uh, other characters like Elsa and Hero and things like that to stop them from putting up shields from doing their big damage or stopping You know uh, Elsa from getting empowered early so uh, fantastic customer uh, fantastic character does a lot of damage um and starts assisting anyone that has tactics on them so love this character great plug and play character okay so um for me my next one is ian and with, on his basic ability he's going to be able to inflict blind he can spread harmful effects on opponent onto the adjacent ones which is just huge it's really really good and then as well as that the more harmful effects there is the more damage he's going to do which is fantastic since he's going to go off and spread them anyway himself he can drain the speed meter the primary target ally and he works really well with barley um, it's not he, you can go off and plug some cats like judy hops make a nice squad with manticore and he does some really nice stuff yeah he definitely does uh, i know he's he's on one of my my actual current farming list at the time right now um but yeah he does great things uh skills damage like you said with as more debuffs in the the battle goes on so great character there uh, my next one is going to be Honey Lemon, and Honey Lemon's newer, uh, part of that Big Hero 6 team. She's going to be needed to get Baymax. Uh, she's another great plug-and-play character. Um, her basic Kimball is able to actually place slow um, on individual characters. Um, how's that a chemical reaction um, is one of my favorite abilities actually it's targeted she cleanses um, any helpful effects that are on your opponent that you're targeting puts them to sleep um and then or stun not sleep stuns them and also puts intimidate on them uh which is really, really powerful and then uh, a smidge of cobalt is fantastic it's an aoe um it's able to put it's actually able to put 
um silence on a character in mass slow your entire enemies and then her passive with chem purse helps cleanse and flip harmful effects which is fantastic again another big great plug and play support type of character uh, pretty cr very critical for the big hero 6 team currently using her uh, again in my um sorcerer's tournament team and pvp um along with cobra bubbles and some other characters right um yeah i'm not really going for bane max but i am still going over for honey lemon because i just say she's just a fantastic plug and play character to be working on yeah she definitely is able to get farmed very early um as well so um for my last one my next one is jasmine so on her ability called vajra she's gonna go to summon vajra which is super annoying the way he goes up and taunt it's just extremely annoying when you're focusing down trying to kill off a core character in that team then he's just out there taunting especially if you position him right um, correctly he can be very annoying to have to deal with also on her next special her acrobatic assault she can gain evasion which is pretty irritating again then also she has pretty high chance to make a lad and assist her basic and she also has a chance to grant continuously continuous healing but the main thing for her is that with Raja that she gets out which is really annoying to go up against on defense and sorcerers tournament yeah Raja is a very very annoying um tank to deal with especially with all the recent upgrades they did uh, about a month or so ago um to the Aladdin crew so um yeah that that character Jasmine is great she got a lot uh speed boost as well when they reworked Aladdin characters as well um and you always see her with kingdom and that team is already super fast yeah i am all right my my last character is going to be hero hamada um and hero um is part of that bh6 big hero 6 team also great for tech he's got a great leadership for both of those um but for him my big thing here is going to be the speed meter uh, gains that you get from upgrades as well as micro barrier being able to put those shields up and shields are becoming a huge thing in dsa right now uh helping with survivability in pvp content and pve content all the way around uh, his leadership is huge uh, making tech one of the fastest teams in the game right now um, and big hero six even faster um, being able to give up to about 25 percent speed to big hero six teams um, and about 15 per speed uh, percent speed to tech teammates so um, this guy helps me get out in front of those kingdom teams with sean Yu uh, very easily because of this leadership um, and i'm using three big hero six characters right now so it helps out a lot um, but yeah this guy is great great plug and play <clears throat> even if you don't have big hero 6 or, or tech um i actually used him in my frozen team prior to getting these characters other characters unlocked um and he did great there again being able to get elsa more turns to get to empowered quickly was great um and really really helpful um yes definitely something i really like about hevo is quite similar to Kristoff in the sense that you can grant a health effect to target based on their role, which is like offense will get offense up, defense will get defense up, support will get haste. Yep. Just really good. Yeah, just really good all around support, plug and play character as well. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Don't forget to look down in the description. You got to watch both videos to get the complete list. I'll have a link down there to uh, Smart Dog Nuts uh, video that we recorded previously. Uh, so make sure you guys check that out as well and go and subscribe to his channel guys if you're not subscribed to him already make sure you subscribe to his channel all right my friends until next time we're gonna say deuces peace out